we were asked to complete the following table. In the first row, we want to convert a fraction to a decimal and percent. In the second row, we want to convert the decimal to a fraction and percent. In the third row, we want to convert the percent to a fraction and decimal. While there are formal rules for each of these conversions, which I will show at the end, I think as long as we can remember two important concepts, we should not have to memorize all of the conversion rules. First, a fraction bar means division, and therefore the fraction a over b is equal to a divided by b. And second, a percent is always a number compared to 100, and therefore p percent is equal to the fraction p over 100. Let's first convert the fraction 1 sixth to a decimal. Because a fraction bar means division, 1 sixth is equal to 1 divided by 6. If we perform this division, we will find the decimal form of the fraction 1 sixth. And let's do this using long division. We have one divided by six, place a decimal to the right of the one, up to the quotient, add a zero to the right of one, determine how many sixes in 10, which is one. One times six is six, we subtract, the difference is four, add a zero, bring it down, determine how many sixes in 40, which is six. Six times six is 36, subtract, the difference is four, Add another zero, bring it down. Again, determine how many six is in 40, which is six. Six times six is 36, subtract. The difference is four, add another zero, bring it down. Determine how many six is in 40, which we know is six. At this point, we should recognize that the six is going to repeat, which means one sixth as a decimal is equal to 0 0.1, and then because the six repeats, we write the six and place a bar over the six. One six is equal to zero point one six repeating. Now if your directions do say round, of course you would round to the appropriate place value. And now we need to find the percent. Now we need to find the percent. Because a percent is always a number compared to 100, if we can write either of these in the form of a fraction with a denominator of 100, the numerator will give us the percentage. And because we cannot easily write one sixth as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100, let's write the decimal 0 0.16 repeating as a fraction with a denominator of one. This would be 0 0.16 repeating over one. And now we need to write this as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100. Following this method, because one times 100 equals 100, to find the numerator of the equivalent fraction with the denominator of 100, we must multiply the numerator by 100. The shortcut for multiplying by 100 is to move the decimal point to the right two places, but in this case, let's show some work. 0 0.16 repeating is equal to 0 0.16, and the six repeats. Let's write out some more sixes. And if we multiply by 100, again we move the decimal point to the right two places, so one, two. This would give us 16.666 repeating, which is equal to 16.6 with a bar over the six. Which means the equivalent fraction with the denominator of 100 is 16.6 repeating over 100 which is equal to 16.6 with a bar over the six percent. Looking at the next row, we're given the decimal 0 0.004 or four thousandths. Let's first write the decimal as a percentage, and we'll do this by writing the decimal as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 100. So 0 0.004 is a fraction can be written as 0 0.004 over one. And now if we write this as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 100, the numerator will give us the percentage. And because one times 100 equals 100, we need to multiply the numerator by 100 as well. And again, the shortcut for multiplying by 100 is to move the decimal point right two places. If you ever get confused on what direction to move the decimal, we know if we multiply by 100, the value must get larger, and the value gets larger by moving the decimal point to the right. So if we move it right two places, 
that gives us 0.4 or 0 0.4. 0 0.4 over 100 is equal to 0 0.4%. And now we need the fraction. If we know our place values, we know we read this as four thousandths. If we don't know the place values, though, we do know that 0 0.004 is equal to 0 0.4 over 100. But in fraction form, we cannot have a decimal in the numerator or denominator. To clear the decimal, we would multiply the numerator and denominator by 10 which does give us four thousandths. Again, we can go directly to this step here if we can read this decimal using place value. But we still need to simplify out the greatest common factor between four and one thousand, which is four. To simplify, we divide the numerator and denominator by four. Four divided by four is equal to one. One thousand divided by four is equal to 250. The fraction is one 250th. And now for the last row, we want to write 108.2% as a decimal and a fraction. The key is remembering a percent is a number compared to 100, which means 108.2% is equal to 108.2 compared to 100, or as a fraction over 100. If we want the decimal form of this, remember a fraction bar means division. This is equal to 108.2 divided by 100. The shortcut for dividing by 100 is to move the decimal point left two places, which would give us 1.082. Again, we know when dividing by 100, the value must get smaller, which is an easy way to remember. We must move the decimal point left two places. If we move it right, notice how the number would get larger. So the decimal value is 1.082, or 1 and 82 thousandths. And now for the fraction, we know 108.2% is equal to 108.2 over 100. This is in fraction form, but we cannot have decimals in our fraction. To clear the decimal, we would multiply the numerator and denominator by 10. Notice when we do this, we would get 1,082 over 1,000 which is the fraction form of the percentage, but this must be simplified. We need to simplify out all the common factors between the numerator and denominator. They're both even. Let's begin by dividing the numerator and denominator by two. 1,082 divided by two is equal to 541. 1,000 divided by two is equal to 500. There are no other common factors other than one between the numerator and denominator and therefore this is the simplified fraction for the given percentage. 541 five hundredths. Before we go, I will show the formal rules for performing all these conversions, but as long as we can remember a fraction bar means division and a percent is a number compared to 100, we should not have to memorize all the rules for the conversions. But here are the rules for converting a percent to a fraction any percent to a decimal. Here are the rules for converting a decimal to a percent and a decimal to a fraction. And finally, here are the rules for converting a fraction to a decimal and a fraction to a percent. I hope you found this helpful.